Hello everyone, my name is Stefan. I'm with the Aris BPM team. And if you're watching this video, you either couldn't make it to our live demonstration of the publisher tool, or maybe you just wanted to catch some of the information for a second time. Uh, either way, I'm going to show you how to do everything you saw in the live class uh, here on the video. First thing we're going to go over is how to actually access the Aris Business Publisher. This can be done one of three ways. The first way is to log on to GrouperNet and you're going to find on the left hand side a section called Business Processes. Once you click that it's going to bring you up to other options of these select enterprise views. And from there that will either bring you to the login screen which if it does you just click anonymous or it will bring you straight to our home model. This is our level zero model just with the city of Gainesville. Um, the other way to access the Aris Business Publisher is once you're in your internet browser connected to the internal network, just type in Aris BP and click enter. That will bring you to the login screen. From here, just click anonymous access. You don't have to select a language. It will assume English. And that will bring you to the home screen. Um, the next section I'd like to talk about is navigation through the business publisher. Uh, in order to find your model, this can be done one of three ways. You can search for it, you can go through the navigation tree, uh, or you can look, um, scroll down through the enterprise architecture base model. Um, the first way we'll go is the, probably the fastest if you know the name of your model, and that's just using the search. Um, this can be a little tricky if you're uh, just used to like Google searches because this search engine actually requires that asterisk are to be used in the beginning and end uh, of your search field. Um, so say we we're trying to find a model about uh, delivering workshops. You can type in workshop with the asterisk in front and behind and click enter. And that will search the database for anything with the word workshop in it. Uh, we scroll through here and we see that our deliver workshop model is right here. Just click on that. And within a few seconds, it will bring up your model that you're looking for. Might have to try it again. There we go. Delivering a workshop. Okay, the second way you can navigate through the database is through the navigation tree. So if you're starting out at the home page, just click Contents. Contents will bring up the navigation tree. From there, you need to know the directory of your model. So this is a little bit more advanced way uh, to navigate through. Uh, in order to find this Deliver Workshop, the directory is listed in the beginning of the model title. So it would actually be 1.2, GRU Processes, 1.2F, IT Services, 1.2F4, which is Offer Training, 1.4. I'm sorry, 1.2.F.4 is actually implementing a service, 1.2.F. Dot four dot two is uh, offering the training, and then dot one is actually delivering that training. So from here, you would click down and then actually click on the model. And once you did that, it would bring up the model you were looking for. Deliver workshop. Okay, there's a third and final way to find this, um, and this is through the enterprise architecture, uh, which is also the city of Gainesville model. Um, this is our base model which links all the other models in the database. Um, this is actually going to be the longest way to find anything but a good way to explore the database and maybe find um, some other things that you didn't know were in there. Uh, so again if we're going to look for our same model we're going to click Gainesville Regional Utilities. From there we're going to click GRU Processes. We also have the option of Services uh, or Organization which includes uh, work charts. Um, so, within processes, we're going to bring up all of GRU's core processes. 
and one of these should be information technology services. This is going to give us uh, a choice here. Do we want the end-to-end -end one or the uh, just basic level? We'll go ahead and scroll down the levels through the basic level map. And this brings up our six phases of the IT service. As you remember, it was in the implement phase. And once we're in the implement phase, we're going to click on Offer Training, as you remember. Offer follow-up training to clients. And here's our offer follow-up training workshops to clients. Um, within this model, we can click right here, which is our, dev uh, I'm sorry, this is the develop workshop plan. If we want to get to the same one we were on earlier, we would click deliver the workshop and bring us to the model. As you can see, drilling from this top level is a good way to uh, discover how all the other uh, areas of the database fit in with one another and uh, just how... Uh, the level of detail of the model you're looking at is how far down. Um, this now brings us to the next section of this demonstration, and that is for duplication, uh, printing out your models. If we want to make a copy of this, there's a few things to keep in mind before. The most important thing is we need to make sure that our pop-up blocker is turned off. Um, Selecting print in this program actually prints it to a PDF and from there you can do with it what you want. You can either print it or um, send the file as a PDF to whoever wants to see it. Um, so very important, make sure your pop-up blocker is turned off. The next step is to right click and select print. Upon doing this it's going to, to give a pop-up window here. And from there, we, we need to s select our page size, which we'll go ahead and select letter. And um, orientation, This uh, you'll see if you select landscape, it's actually going to uh, cause the model to be printed out on three separate pages. Or if we do format, it's a one-to-one. -one. We can actually say if we want to zoom in, make it a little bigger, we can print it on two pages, but that will also cause it to be two pages wide. Um, for a model this size, it's probably fine to just print it on one page. Um, you can also have the fit to page button, which makes it as large as it can be on one wall remaining on one page. Finally, once you've done all that, you can click print. And what that's going to do is print it out to a PDF, like I said earlier. From there, you can do what you will with it. Okay, our last topic of discussion for today is the communication piece. And what I mean by that is uh, sending links to this model for other people to see. Um, this is just a little bit easier, actually, than printing it. You right-click again, and you click Copy Link. And what you're going to do, it brings you up this link. Be careful not to, to scroll away from this, or it will disappear. So, Copy Link and then um, use control C just to copy that link and then in your email or wherever else uh, you want to paste it you can do your edit paste or control V or whatever your favorite shortcut is for pasting a link into there. Um, so those are the basics of Eris Publisher. Again my name is Stefan. Uh, please feel free to send me an email if you have any questions about this my email address is broadussm that's B-R-O-A-D-U-S-S-M at G-R-U dot com. Or uh, feel free to give us a call over here at the help desk uh, at extension 1350.